Hello everyone, this is John. Welcome back to the Fat Hipster Channel. And as you know, what I'm about to do is taste some new product, some food product, or in this case, drink product. Tell you what I think about it, and let you know if it's something you need to try or not. These are always something that is either new or something that I'm interested in. Today it's a little bit of both. And a little bit of backstory to this one. When I was a young lad, um, around middle school, high school age, I would uh, go shopping with my mother at the grocery store. And as a child, you always like pointing at like a snack or something that you want. Usually the answer is no. But these, uh, I think my mother might have been convinced that they were healthier in some way. Um, and she allowed me to pick one of these every time we went out to the grocery store. So, I'm about to taste these. Well, some of them anyway. These are Snapple Elements. I have them right here on my shelf behind me. Snapple Elements are like a tea fruit juice based drink made by Snapple. And these specifically came out in 1999. In 1999, I was 15 or 16. No, 14. I was 14 in 1999. Or maybe I wasn't. I don't want to give too much information out there for people to steal my identity. Anyway, I was in my teens. And they had these glass bottles. And they had interesting names and colors and designs on them. The first four that came out were Earth, Rain, Sun, and Fire. And two of those have come back. We have Snapple Rain. Snapple Rain says agave cactus flavored juice, 10% pear juice. And uh, as you can see, this is a plastic bottle. See how I could squeeze it. And not exactly the same label type. It has a picture of the agave plant. And in the original for Rain, it was a few raindrops and like the swoop. The swoop was for everything. The other one they brought back is Snapple Fire. Now fire is a dragon fruit flavor. Um, with this one, that's definitely a dragon fruit as the as this symbol here, but it does kind of look like fire. Whereas in the original glass bottle, it was actually a flame with the same swoop. The other two original flavors were Earth, and Earth was a grape cranberry flavor, and Sun, Sun was a starfruit orange flavor. Those have not come back yet anyway. The third flavor that they brought back, now technically, technically this is a new flavor. Um, because originally, this came out as Diet Air. And it was the only one that had the word diet in it. Um, and Diet Air was a prickly peach. And this says prickly pear and peach white tea. And you can see in the picture, it looks definitely like there's a pear and maybe a peach. The peach doesn't really look like a peach to me, but the pear kind of does, unless the peach is the yellow one and the pear is the red one. Who knows? Anyway, there was never just an air in the original. It was always diet air. I looked on the internet, couldn't find anything that was just regular air. They were always diet air. So technically, this is not a comeback it's a completely new product um and just for your information here are some other flavors they also came out with um 
I'm fairly certain that I've tr that I tried most, if not all of these, at some point, um, because same as I am as an adult, I am sort of a completionist when it comes to trying new food items that come out. So every time I would go to the grocery store, I would remember what I tried last time and get a new one until I completed everything that was there. And if any time they came out with a new flavor, I tried it. So the original four, Earth, Rain, Sun, Fire, definitely tried all those four. Diet Air, I'm not sure if I tried the Diet Air or not. Um, I might have, as a kid, diet beverages just weren't appealing to me. But they also had Meteor, which is a Tangelo, Spark, which is a Mandarin Carrot, Turbulence, which they call Shredded Lemon, Atomic, Jacked Apple, Voltage, which was Citron. Uh, they, oh, there's another one, Diet Ice, which is a Ruby Tangelo. Velocity, which is a grapefruit cranberry. Volcano, which was indigo grape. Voltage, Citron Sky, Passion Fruit. Gravity, Carrot Infusion. Lightning, uh, which is ginseng black tea. Altitude, which is persimmon. Um, moon, which was green tea, and infusion, which was mango tangerine. And then what I'm reading here says eventually they moved to a aluminum can. Uh, I'm not sure when the aluminum can one came out, but I think that was past the time. I might have been already in college where I wouldn't be going grocery shopping with my mother anymore. I'm sad. Um, In the aluminum can line, they had an energy series, which was fire, rain, meteor, a metal, a venom, and sub-zero. And that was in 2005, they switched, so yeah, definitely mid-college by then. I'm not sure when they, the last year they were sold, but they were discontinued at some point, apparently. So let's go ahead and taste these. I'm going to start with the two that I've definitely tried. Um, let's go ahead and try with Rain first. Rain first. Uh, this one has water, sugar, pear juice concentrate, agave nectar, citric acid, and natural flavors. Uh, no artificial sweeteners, 100% recyclable bottle. You know, glasses, 100% recyclable. 45% less sugar than regular Snapple apple. Well, apple juice is very sugary, so that's not surprising. They brought back the facts. Look at that. One thing I always liked about Snapple was they had like the facts on top. I'm going to read you all these facts so you will become smarter. This is real fact number 1624. The first flight traveled at less than 7 miles per hour ground speed. Interesting. Rain. Tastes like pears. This is agave cactus flavored juice drink. Water, sugar, pear juice, agave nectar. So there's coffee in here, but the pear juice is just strong. Mm. The nostalgia factor for this one is not hitting. So I wonder if they changed the formula since then. You know, it's been over 20 years. Potentially, since I've tried the elements. Anyway, let's hope the next one's better. The rain also is basically a clear beverage. Fire. This is dragon fruit flavored. 10% um, juice from a blend of pear and grape. Water, sugar, pear, and grapefruit juice concentrate citric acid. Natural flavors. So there is no dragon fruit 
to this. This dragon fruit is somewhere in the natural flavors category. Now, both of these have been light and refreshing. In fact, that's what it says right here. Light and refreshing. But when you drink it, you don't even have to read those name, those words to know this is light and refreshing. This one, the flavor is light. Um, knowing that there is grape juice in here, I can pick up that grape flavor. Um... The grape juice definitely is more strong here than the pear juice. Dragon fruit in general has a very light flavor, and to not really be in there besides natural flavors. Does this taste like dragon fruit? Not particularly. Uh, so another one that, again, they're not hitting any nostalgia factor for me. Lastly, air. Air is yellow. You would think that air would be clear. But I guess since they already did rain that was clear, they had to make air yellow. Are you breathing in yellow air? It says prickly pear and peach white tea. It does not say that it contains any fruit juice. So let's read the ingredients. Our real white tea starts with the finest tea leaves and is made from. So instead of saying ingredients like the other ones, but I don't even say ingredients. It does like a preamble to the ingredients. Filtered water, sugar, citric acid, white tea. Um, and then I'm going to mispronounce this probably. Acerola fruit extract and natural flavors. So it does have white tea in the uh, ingredients, but prickly pear in the peach part of the white tea, not listed. There is acerola fruit extract. I don't know what acerola fruit is. Acerola fruit, a prickly pear. Let's Google acerola fruit, also known as the Barbados cherry. Maybe that's what that red thing is because it kind of looks like this. Cherry. Huh. Oh, fruit is a cherry. So they have some weird cherry in here. But it's not talked about anywhere on the label. In both prickly pear and peach, those flavors have to be somewhere in that natural flavorings category. I wonder if it says what it tastes like. Fruit. Sour taste. It doesn't really say what it's supposed to taste like. Nice little fruit. Taste. Described as sweet, fragrant, and astringent. Yeah, that doesn't help at all. Let's go ahead and taste Snapple Air. When you look up Diet Air online, it does come in a clear bottle, and the liquid is clear. I forgot to read the cap for the fire. So we're going to do two facts in a row. Real fact number 1626. The Earth signs are Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Well, that one could be thrown away because that's not facts. Real fact number 1,574. Every minute, about a billion tons of water falls on Earth. Hmm. Does it mean that much water falls onto the Earth? Or, on Earth, that's how much water falls. 
Does it count waterfalls? The waterfalls are constantly like tons and tons of water all the time. Anyway, let's try. Snapple elements air. Does it taste like prickly pear? I don't even know what prickly pear tastes like. I do know what peach tastes like. And I do know what a white tea is supposed to taste like. Let's see if it tastes like either of those things. This one has a peachiness to it, which is interesting. It does say peach white tea on here. It is the first of the three that tastes the most like what the label tastes, says it should taste like. It's refreshing. Doesn't say if there's any caffeine in it. Because white tea should have some caffeine in it, right? <laughs> Here's an interesting fact: the 100% recycled material excludes the cap and the label. It's like 100% recyclable except for this part and this part. This is my favorite of three. It's interesting. Right. This is the one that technically is a new item altogether. There was diet air before, but there was never regular air as a flavor of Snapple Elements. However, the flavor of this one is more reminiscent of what I nostalgically feel about Snapple Elements. The fire and the rain taste like pear juice and grape juice. Of course, a really light, light down version of it, more watered down. This one tastes like pear, or not pear. It tastes more peachy. You can have like a, it has a tea flavor to it. It tastes like something I remember having. Maybe it was a Snapple element that I had before. Maybe it was something else I had before, but the flavor is very reminiscent of something I've had before. This is my favorite of three so far. Um, overall, for these three, I'm kind of disappointed in the overall nostalgia of this, um, both because of the plastic bottles. I think if you went back to be 100% nostalgic for the original bottles with the original label art and everything the nostalgia would be better and you should have started with the four original flavors rain fire earth and sun one of the big things i liked about um the element line was not only the different flavors but also the different colors if you look at the pictures of some of these fire this one you can see is red but with a more clear label without like the red burst and everything you saw the clear redness of the beverage and then rain was clear 100 percent clear so this blue on the label kind of makes it look blue but it's not blue and then you had sun which had a bright yellow you had earth which had like a darker red and then if I can find pictures of some other ones let's see velocity looked pink volcano was red voltage was like a neon yellow and spark was an orange I think there might have been one that was like more cloudier colored as well or I think Yeah, I'm thinking of something else. Do you remember? I, I googled lizard drinks and this came up. Sobe, S O B E. They were usually like right next to the original elements on the shelves. And they had 
tea, energy, fruit, all sorts of ooh, a strawberry banana one. Those should come back. Who made Sobe? Sobe drinks. Looks like they still exist. Well, they do still exist. You can still buy them. Huh. Anyway, that's what this video is for. This video is for Snapple Elements. Overall disappointment. The air is my favorite. Uh, I think before you continue the line, you should really rethink um, what they look like, the flavoring. Um, did you lose the original recipes? Who knows? But anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I don't really think anyone necessarily needs to run out and grab these, especially if you've never had them before. There's nothing special about them. If you are looking for them for the nostalgia factor, I think you're going to be a little bit disappointed as well. But if you're just trying to find something that's light and refreshing, either one of these things will do. But I think there's many products out there that will do for that. No need to especially look out for these. Um, like I said, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you on the next one, of course. Bye.